Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. NBA source says people are going to be upset that Kellel were slipped to Miami Heat at number 15 overall. One anonymous NBA figure, who has served as a scout and assistant coach in the league, believes that people will rue the fact that Kellel were fell all the way to the Miami Heat in the 2024 NBA draft. The anonymous figure currently works for a team in the Western Conference and was particularly impressed with Ware's penchant for sending away shots during his summer league stint. They got a steal with Ware, he told the Miami Herald. Everyone questioned his motor at Oregon, nobody questioned the talent. And people are going to be disappointed they didn't take him, before Miami selected him 15th. His shot blocking was off the charts in summer league. He got up and down the floor. He's always been considered a talented offensive player, but he did it more consistently than people expected. He really shined. This is going to give Bam, Adebayo, the ability to not be at the five, center, full time. Where averaged 1.5 blocks per game across six games played for the Heat in Las Vegas, but he contributed a lot more than just solid rim protection. The 20-year-old also produced as a scorer. He averaged 18.0 points per game while shooting an efficient 61.8% from the floor in Vegas. While many of his points came within the three-point arc, were flashed a capable three-point shot as well, as he shot 30% from deep on 1.7 attempts per contest. It's worth noting that the big man shot 42.5% from deep, albeit on a low volume of attempts, in his final collegiate season. Were claimed last month that he thinks he will fit well alongside star big man Bam Adebayo in the Heat's frontcourt moving forward. Me and Bam can definitely play beside each other because we complement each other so well, said Ware. His position is really the four, and so me coming in as the five man, I can protect the paint and just being able to do what I always do. One doesn't have to look all that far back in time for an instance where the Heat drafted a player in the middle or late portion of the first round who overachieved. Miami drafted Jamie Jacquez Jr. with the number 18 overall pick in the 2023 NBA draft, and Jacquez finished fourth in the league's Rookie of the Year voting after he averaged 11.9 points, 3.8 rebounds, 2.6 assists, and 1.0 steal per contest during the 2023-24 regular season. The Heat also drafted Nikola Jovic late in the first round of the 2022 NBA draft, and the 21-year-old played a significant role with the team last season. He started 38 games in the regular season and five in the playoffs after he did not see the floor all that much in his inaugural season in the pros. Former player believes Heat star is motivated to prove people wrong. This next season might be a monumental one in the career of Jimmy Butler. The Miami Heat star is adamant about getting his team back into the playoffs, especially since he will be negotiating for a new contract. Talking to Sirius XM NBA Radio, Antonio Daniel said he expects Butler to be highly motivated in 2024-25 because, once again, he has something to prove. Daniels reminded listeners that this is nothing new for Butler, who has repeatedly proven himself to people again and again throughout his career. There have been many times during his career when Butler has pushed back against criticism and doubts. He is ready to remind people what he is capable of. Butler's future is currently in question and many people think his days playing for the Heat could be coming to an end. Of course, if he performs fantastically in 2024-25, he could get a big extension from the team and even end his career in Miami. This adds another layer of intrigue to the season ahead and gives Butler a bigger reason to show up and play well. Certain Miami fans were disappointed with Butler's 2023-24. Although he averaged 20.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 5 assists, he became injured right as the playoffs kicked off and wasn't able to help the Heat. They ended up being pushed out in the first round, partly because they didn't have him on board. Again, this is yet another reason why he could play with extra fire in the upcoming season. Butler has surprised people many times, and he's eager to do it again. 
fans are patiently waiting to see how he can help get the Heat back on track. Heat execute a win-now trade by acquiring former Lakers wing in proposed deal. The Miami Heat have had one of the quietest off-seasons in the NBA, with the only major addition to their roster being veteran guard Alec Burks. Given how aggressive other teams in the East like the New York Knicks and the Philadelphia 76ers have been, the Heat need to make a major move to keep themselves realistic contenders to unseat the Boston Celtics. The Heat have been very selective with the players they target in recent seasons, missing out on multiple top-tier players due to stubborn trade negotiations. They softened that philosophy by acquiring Terry Rozier at the deadline and could make a major improvement if they target Washington Wizards forward Kyle Kuzma. At the cost of a first-round pick, the Heat could make a major win-now move. This deal isn't without risk for the Heat, as a 2029 first-round pick is too far ahead in the future for the franchise to know what they'll look like then. But it greatly rounds out a competitive core with a win-now player who can be a spark on offense and a versatile tool on defense. The Miami Heat can't rest on the laurels of their current core anymore. They have made two NBA Finals appearances in the last four years, but that shouldn't be enough for a core that clearly can rise up in playoff matchups. Their lack of regular season solidity has been hurting the franchise, with last season ending in a one-sided first-round exit. Even with Jimmy Butler healthy, the Heat didn't have enough versatile threats to worry the Celtics over seven games. Kyle Kuzma is a do-it-all forward who was nearly traded to the Mavericks in the winter. But as the Wizards clearly head in a tanking direction, they can send the 29-year-old to an attractive destination like the Heat. He averaged 22.2 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, and 4.2 assists last season, further polishing his offensive game while being a high-effort defender and rebounder. His play style would fit well with the Heat on both ends, provided he is a willing third star behind Butler and Bam Adebayo. The Heat would have one of the strongest starting fives in the East with a backcourt of Rozier and Tyler Harrow augmented by a fierce frontcourt with Butler, Kuzma, and Adebayo. The team will have to add some depth pieces beyond the five, but have a solid core with Jamie Jaquez, Alec Burks, Josh Richardson, Kevin Love, and rookie Kuel Ware. The new Wizards front office under GM Michael Winger is trying to be a player-friendly organization. Instead of trading players like Kuzma to the highest bidder, they include the player in the decision-making process. With the Wizards needing to tank for another season to maximize the 2025 draft class, Kuzma is an asset that could start losing value after another season. This is a solid haul for him and sends him to an attractive destination with a strong basketball ethos. The Wizards will be intrigued by the development potential of Nikola Jovic, who averaged 7.7 .7 points and 4.2 rebounds last season. He's slowly been working his way into the heat rotation but would be a necessary piece in this deal to make it worth it for Washington. Jovic could develop into a star player, with the Wizards having space in the front court to give him a greater opportunity with the loss of Denny Abdija and Kuzma in this scenario. A 2029 first-round pick from the Heat could have a lot of value if their current era ends in disaster. While someone like Adebayo could still be anchoring the team five years from now, the soon-to-be 35-year-old Butler definitely won't be. He might be gone as soon as next season, so the Wizards will hope this trade turns out to convey more value in the long term. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Kyle Kuzma? Leave your opinion in the comments.